Hi team, this is Venkat since 2010. Before you proceed further, I request you to please subscribe, share our channel, please comment your experience on this topic. If you want to add any your view in the form of comment, I request you to add and share your knowledge. Right. In this video, we are going to see why clients are migrating their mainframe applications to cloud. What are the reasons? We are going to see the reasons. Because I got this question from uh, so many resources. Okay. Uh, stating that, hey, Venkat, uh, any idea why clients are moving to main uh, cloud? Why clients are migrating mainframe applications to the cloud? So here is the answer, okay, to answer their questions and to address everyone question on this context. So here I am creating the video. The first one P, the first one is a cost, okay, okay, the first one is a cost. The economics of cloud computing is lesser, cheaper when compared to Main, uh, mainframe. So, cost point of view, cloud environment is cheaper compared to mainframe and even in maintaining also. So, maintaining mainframe server, so we need to recruit experts to maintain the mainframe server to upgrade and all this stuff. But when it comes to the cloud, that is not required. Right. So one is the cost to save the cost. The clients are trying to move from mainframe to cloud. So a total cost of ownership evaluation of the subscription based consumption driven cost model of the cloud. So how in cloud, if you don't know about the cloud, I'll try to give in high level team. So cloud is the cl how, how the uh, I mean uh, AWS or Azure or GCP Google how they are going to charge from their clients right based on the usage that is called consumption. Pay what you use. What is the point what is the billing mechanism? Pay what you use. So if you don't use at all, just you have to pay minimal amount. If you use highest CPU, you have to pay accordingly. So it is a consumption driven model. The, which one? The cloud. But when it comes to the mainframe, that is not the case, right? So it is not, okay, not only depends on the consumption. There are a lot of other factors also there. So one is cost to save the cost they are trying to move one of the reason they are trying to move mainframe applications to cloud the next one people mainframe resources see in india you know very well in india there are so many mainframe resources are there but in this category very less resources are there if you see the client location, okay, US or UK, Australia or any other country you see, mainframe resources are very less, okay. So, who are having good knowledge, technical stuff, the resources are very less. So, one is resource crunch. So, if you see the description here, mainframe specific technical skills are not being replaced by today's college and technology trade school graduates. So few years back in US or other countries, mainframe is, the, is one of the uh, course in their particular education. So in India, we have a Java course, okay, uh, in your, you know, either one, in, in, in a year you might be having a Java as a course, right? But in uh, mainframe is one of the course in their colleges in US or other countries. But now mainframe nowhere in the picture. 
so all our cloud or devops all other courses they have introduced so we are getting main prem resources in other countries very very difficult the pool of the available talent with the relevant knowledge experience is shrinking exponentially each year is very very you know becoming a difficult to get the experience skilled skilled resources okay because all the college all the college all colleges uh, you know any pressures everyone is trying to move to cloud but when when there is a requirement when there is a challenge we are not able to the when the clients are not able to find main prem resources this is the one of the reason the next one reuse okay these are the main two reasons so reuse often we can call as a lift and shift method what it started as we call lift and shift so this is the process that reuses the existing code program applications typically written in cobol by moving them off the mainframe so when you think about migrating from mainframe applications to mainframe application from mainframe environment to the cloud environment so lift and shift so means we don't uh, uh we don't write any new program in the cloud environment for the existing application what we do here we will move all global programs jcls tables everything from mainframe environment to cloud environment once we move just we will recompile we will ensure that the application is working properly that we have ensured so the challenges are very less okay what you are doing from ibm mainframe environment to you are moving to the cloud your programs remains the same jcls remains the same copy books remains the same and everything remains the same only the very minimal changes you have to do like recompiling and connectivity those things you have to do that okay so that mechanism is called lift and shift so once we move the application relevant stuff it can be cobol programs jcls anything right so we have to recompile the code to run in a mainframe emulator hosted in the cloud instance so once you recompile all the load load modules also will be available in cloud instance so this approach minimizes the upfront risk length of the project and realizing the hardware software cost saving soonest so if you go with the re -up, reuse approach if you follow if you take reuse approach you are not creating any code already programs are there or everything is there you are moving and doing the minimal changes hence it will not impact the business okay and you will not find more risks also okay you can minimize the risks you might think that we can direct instead of using the mainframe we can create similar functionality in other technology in cloud right it's a lengthy process time taking process it might success it may not success right so how the application is working on mainframe it may not work when you deploy when you write from the scratch in the cloud so it's all a risk right the client will not take that option so this approach minimizes the upfront risk length of the project realizing the hardware software cost saving soonest so what you did just you move the application your programs right so hence later you don't use main ibm hardware automatically cost is going to save so from aws you can procure the software so either hardware point of view software point of view you are going to save some cost so running mainframe applications in aws hosted emulator also opens the possibility of new innovation leveraging aps to previously inaccessible programs and data once you deploy once you push your programs on the cloud environment that indicates that you can access those programs from other technologies also see earlier your programs are available on mainframe 
mainframe will not allow you to connect from different applications it has limitations right as you know mainframe has limitations so if i want to connect from other one x technology i cannot because x technology cannot directly cannot talk to mainframe because mainframe may not support right so any new uh, of new technologies uh, there in the picture okay let's say there are uh, if you say anglo java based modern web technologies okay introduced in now right there are so many modern web tech, uh, web applications are there now if modern web application wants to talk to mainframe is it possible okay if it may not be possible if you if everything is on the mainframe ibm mainframe hardware mainframe system but if you move that applications programs to cloud the cloud have a have a provision to allow other systems to talk okay so basically one technology can talk to other technology here okay so cross technologies are possible so you can exchange the data between mainframe application with other between two technologies mainframe sap mainframe java mainframe dot net that the, you know you can link between two technologies or you can exchange the data between two technologies using some apis okay if you want to implement new things modern web pages modern web if you want to implement modern web technologies that also you can integrate so that interlink can be done if you deploy your application in the cloud so one mechanism is one mechanism is a reuse the second one is rewrite okay so rewrite is not the best approach at the i uh, you know at the starting okay why because rewrite is nothing but writing from the scratch for existing functionality it is very very difficult challenging and risky so if there are 100 programs in our earlier project so we have to write 100 programs in a new technology it's not exactly using java or something else okay so that is called rewrite it may be tempting to say let's just write new programs from the scratch don't use existing programs let's understand existing programs what program it does what are the things implemented similar functionality implement in new technology so to modernize the mainframe application this approach is extremely risky and fails a vast majority of the time because you are not going to um, uh, write for the small project okay the, those projects are there since long so what creating the programs for them is very very difficult it is a complex costly time consuming and the resources investment required tends to greatly exceed the forecast so if you do rewrite these are all the challenges means you are going to instead of mainframe this is a very important point uh, for you guys okay uh, like if they are whether they are using other technology if they use other technology instead of the existing mainframe the challenges you can see okay and so it's not only complex costly time consuming thing again there is a always a question mark how the mainframe is providing the security to the client's data whether cloud environment will provide or not that is a big question mark still right because so so far there is no cloud environment state uh, there is no cloud environment stated that it is 100% secure so obviously they will say obviously they will say but if you see mainframe okay it is there since few decades so, so far nobody able to hack the data right nobody able to but cloud is not sure no okay we cannot say that at this moment okay it is 100% secure it is not secure we cannot say that so a new modern code base may still be the correct and objective 
but better approach would be first move the application so what they are saying that first better to move the applications to cloud based emulator okay nothing but is a reuse migrate the database to cloud so what they are suggesting let's say if i want to migrate what is the best approach okay so you are a senior resource your client asked or your management asked you so you can give this answer right so because this is the article whatever i have written this is somewhere i found it so what you need to do team what they are suggesting you can move the mainframe application to cloud based emulator after that one by one partially so earlier you we might be we were you might be using database db2 let's move from db2 to other cloud based database if you feel that db2 is more cost involved compared to other databases slowly you can move from db2 to other cloud based database okay one by one part by part yes you moved all the data so the entire data you moved from db2 to uh, or a cloud based database then focus on the replacing the modules later then you can focus on the application by application modules modules wise okay that is called multi phased approach so this is all about rewrite so this is uh, one approach to do that next replace so another mainframe modernization approach is to completely replace the mainframe functionality with the program or suits of the program typically software as a service application so another one is replace so what i can say team there are th uh, few challenges okay or why the clients are moving to the as a conclusion i can give why clients are moving from mainframe to the cloud one is cost saving and resources the third one is so flexible to integrate with the other technologies okay so you can integrate with n number of technologies and different databases so because nowadays there is no technology which is a stable right so earlier java now html css is enough now angular spring boot later after 2 years which front end will come we don't know after 10 years which technology will come into the picture we don't know but our environment should support to connect to any environment any new technology that flexibility should be there so that is the one the clients are expecting if you move it to cloud that is possible